what's up guys um i am back with another empties video so this is coming a little bit early because this is supposed to you know top off the summer i'm supposed to be doing them seasonally <laughs> but um if you guys don't know i am going back to school it's not like i've been out of school for a million years i just took a semester off for my obvious health reasons um i go back in two days i go back on monday so um by the time you watch this video, I will either be in the process of moving or I will have already moved in. So this is the last time you're going to be seeing all of this. Um, I'm going to have a different filming setup, but you guys will still be getting videos. <laughs> you will have at least one a week. So um, I don't have as many empties as I'd hoped because I forgot that I technically move in early simply because I'm a part of the orchestra at Meredith College and we do a opera every year so I have to be there early for rehearsals and preparation for that opera but yeah I don't have as many empties as I thought I would but I still have a lot of natural hair products so let's go ahead and get into it okay y'all so I'm gonna start with all the hair stuff first so those of you that came just to see my natural hair empties you can go ahead and get that out of the way <laughs> first things first I have the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Styling Pudding um, this is for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. It says it deeply moisturizes, improves softness, and prevents frizz. I have this in my hair right now, and honestly, I had completely forgotten about this product. Um, and I remember that I had it, and I was like, oh, I have one use left. Now I'm going to have to go buy more because I remember why I love this so much. Um, it defines your curls. It leaves them super shiny without a ton of crunch. Um, definitely gives them a light, not really a light hold. It gives a firm hold, but it makes your hair feel lightweight. Since I started using this, this is the third jar that I've purchased. So I'll be purchasing another one. At some I have the Camille Rose Naturals curl -Aid Moisture Butter, and this is formulated with green tea and jojoba. Um, everyone talks about the Almond J Twisting Butter from Camille Rose Naturals. I prefer this over the Almond J. Um, I like to use this for a multitude of reasons. Now, first off, it smells like cake batter. It smells amazing. Super thick and rich. I like to use this for wash and goes. I like to use this to moisturize underneath the curl maker. I also like to use this for braid outs as well as twist outs, either wet or dry. So I will definitely be repurchasing the moisture butter you need to check it out if you have not checked it out. I have the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Shampoo. This is from their Honey Treasures line and this is supposed to strengthen and heal damage. Um, this is a 22 fluid ounce bottle. I bought this last summer. I just finished this up this summer um, and that was also with my brother using this. This is enriched with a natural blend and it is paraben free. What I do like about these is that they do um, have the ingredients that they say they do, regardless of where they are on the ingredient list, and I can appreciate that. Um, this is really great. This is not a clarifying shampoo. Even though this does have sulfates in it, um, I think this does have dimethicone. Yeah, this has dimethicone in it. I don't consider shampoos that have dimethicone to be clarifying so I use this when I don't have a lot of buildup on my hair um, it creates a wonderful lather I can detangle when I have this in my hair my hair just loves it it really does um, and I definitely see a difference in my hair when I'm using this as opposed to some other shampoos so um, if you are looking for an actual shampoo that has some really good ingredients in it and won't completely strip your hair I definitely say go for this it's easy to find it's cheap you can't go wrong I have the Shea Moisture F Fusion coconut water weightless hair mask and this is made with embe oil and aloe this is for fine to medium hair but I find that this worked with my finer strands as well as my more coarse strands that's what this looks like you guys know no more Shea Mo Moisture it's the only time I'm gonna say that in this video so obviously any of the Shea Moisture that's in here I'm not going to repurchase and I went through a lot of my Shea Moisture stuff because I wanted to get rid of the majority of it um, when I was 
on the Shea Moisture bandwagon, this was one of my favorites. It has tons of slip, it smells amazing, it does the job. So, if you're still using Shea Moisture, you might want to check this out. I also have the Shea Moisture Superfruit Complex 10 in 1 Renewal System with Marula Oil and Biotin. This is the um, rinse out conditioner from their line. This was one of my favorite leave ins. I did not use this as a regular conditioner, I use this as a leave in. It has a ton of slip and it gives me the moisture that I need. It pairs well with other gels that are in my collection. Um, I'm really sad that I'm not going to be able to repurchase this. But if, like I said, if you are on the Shea Moisture bandwagon, I say definitely, definitely pick this up. Um, it's great. You can find it just about anywhere now. So I also have the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. This is supposed to be formulated for thick curly hair. I'm sure everyone has seen this. I prefer this over the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. The Curl Enhancing Smoothie is fine. Um, but this worked better for my hair. It's just a basic hair milk. If you need a good hair milk, you know, check this out if you don't have any problems with Shea Moisture. But, um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, like, miraculous, but it did what I needed to, it to do, so. I have the Carol's Daughter Almond Milk Leave-In Conditioner. This is supposed to reverse damage, nourish and strengthen, and condition and add shine. And this is formulated with almond milk, aloe butter, and shea oil. That's what this baby looks like. Like I said before, people really sleep on Carol's Daughter. I understand that they're no longer black-owned. That's what happens when you don't wholeheartedly support your black-owned businesses. So, But um, this is a spray leave-in. Um, what I really liked about this was that I could spray this on my hair and it would add some extra strength. So let's say that I, my hair has been feeling a little over moisturized, a little mushy. I add this in and my curls just spring right back. This isn't something that's going to give you slip. I don't find any of the Carol's Daughter leave-ins to be things that I can detangle with. But for the purpose that I want to use this for, this really works. So if you're one of those naturals, especially... If you're normal porosity that has a hard time with that balance between moisture and strength, this is really good to have in your arsenal. I have the Myel Organics Abasu Oil Mint Deep Conditioner. Um, this is supposed to be a, a protein and moisture replenisher. I'm sure y'all have seen this as well. This is extremely popular within the natural hair community. Now, um, what I will say about this. I did not like this until I used this up a week and a half ago and it worked really well for me. I think the issue that I had with this is that I was using this during times when I did not need it. Um, when I didn't need any serious burst of, of protein or anything like that. So it wasn't doing anything for my hair because I didn't need it. Last week when I used this. I really didn't need that protein and my curl snapped right back. So um, I think I'm going to want to try this again. I can't tell you guys that this is a holy grail for me because I went from really not caring for this. Like I was dreading using this guys and then I used, I used the last bit of it and it worked wonders for my hair. So um, I will purchase this again so that I can make, you know, a final determination of how I feel about it. Um, in terms of the smell, this smells... If you take the honey and ginger styling gel and add mint to it, that's what this smells like. So um, if you do not like the smell of the honey and ginger styling gel, you will not like the smell of this. And the smell of this is strong. You will smell it after you've styled your hair and dried and everything. So keep that in mind. Um, this has nice slip. It's not super thick and it's not runny. It's that perfect in-between consistency. So... All the other things about this mask I really do enjoy. I'm just really not sure if I can say that this is something that I would jump for joy for, you know? So, I have my old baby, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. This is for natural, chemically processed, color-treated, or heat-styled hair. That's what this looks like. Um, this right here is part of the reason why I decided not to buy Shea Moisture anymore. Um, this version that I have right here 
is different from all the other, other versions that I've seen in the stores. They've changed the formulation on this, and this was an amazing formulation. Like, I have a little bit left in here. I don't know if y'all can see it. You can. See those, those little pockets right there? That's the oils in this product. That's what makes this product amazing. And they have completely robbed us of that. So, um, obviously, I won't be repurchasing this again. Um, I have thought about... Um, if they do have this like in Marshalls or TJ Maxx or anything, this formula, then I might pick it up. But aside from that, I'm not going out of my way for shame. Which this is a good guy. Um, I have the As I Am Cleansing Pudding Sulfate Free Moisturizing Cleanser. That's what this baby looks like. This is the 16 ounce. Yeah, this is the 16 ounce bottle. This is just so different. This is such a unique cleansing product. Um, now, when this says cleansing pudding, this is not a co-wash. This is not like conditioner. I kind of wish that I had left a little bit in here. Actually, you can kind of see it from the top. Um, so if you see that, this is a thick, low lather cleanser. So what I do, you can see it even better in the cap. What I do is I take a couple of good squeezes of this and I apply it to my scalp first and then I take what I have and I run it through the rest of my hair. I let that sit on my hair for about three to four minutes and then I gently massage and rinse this out. This actually cleanses your hair really well. It's Sometimes I, I have a hard time believing that this does not have a sulfate in it. But this is amazing and I especially love to use this when I really do feel like I have some buildup, especially on my scalp, but I also don't want to strip all the oils out of my hair. This is made with wonderful ingredients. It's just, it's really hard to explain how I feel about this because it is a very unique product. The only thing that I've found that is similar to this is the Lush Curly Whirly Shampoo. I like this better. This is $17. You do get a lot of product, but for what I get, for how long this lasted me, because I got this last August, I finished this in July. So that just goes to show you how long this can last you. Um, I don't mind the price of it. I will be repurchasing it when I can. I love it. I also have the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hair Mask. Now, I don't know if they changed the formula of the hair mask. I have no idea. Um, I really did love this hair mask. This was one of, you can still kind of see a little bit in there. This was one of my holy grail hair masks. I've been using this since I started transitioning. When they first came out with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. My hair would drink this up. This, the way that people feel about the Mayel for a protein treatment is the way I feel about this. This was just amazing for me and it did exactly what I needed to do. The perfect amount of moisture and the perfect amount of strength. If you are looking for that balance, I really do highly suggest this. It's hard for me to suggest Shea Moisture, but I can't sit here and act like I didn't like the product. You know what I mean? I have to be completely genuine with you guys. So, like I said, if you're still using Shea Moisture and you have not tried this, go check it out. Hopefully, they'll keep this the same. Um, fingers crossed. I have an empty that is not completely empty, but I'm tired of trying to make it work. Um, this is the Eco Styler Professional Styling Gel and the Olive Oil Formula. Um, this has a max hold of 10 for all hair types. I have had this since I cut off all of my relaxed ends. That's been over two years now. It just doesn't work. I told y'all before, it just makes my hair flat. I can't scrunch it out. It's just too much for my hair. And the only reason I'm throwing it out is because it is so old. Um, I would not be able to give this to someone in good conscience. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to give someone a product that has probably expired. Um, this is nothing against the Ecoco Beauty brand as a whole because y'all know I have three Eco Styler gels in rotation right now that I absolutely love. So it has nothing to do with them. It's just this specific formula. My hair can't do it. <laughs> Alrighty, I have a 23.7 fluid ounce 
and a one liter size of the herbal essences hello hydration conditioner um i actually think that we went through another liter size of this but my brother got to it before i did um i've i have really been enjoying this conditioner my brother and i both since i stopped using the damage eraser um my hair loves this it's great for detangling anything that i need it to so this is just a really good basic product um i am going to go buy another one of these tomorrow to take to school with me so if you need a good detangler basic conditioner i highly suggest the hello hydration only thing is that this is not curly girl friendly it does have silicone so if that concerns you then you might want to skip on the hello hydration more hair masks um i have the rim pure coconut cream deep treatment mask um if you guys have not tried rim pure please do you can get them at target you can get them on amazon marshall's tj maxx i think i've seen them in ross as well um this was not like stellar and i'm not the biggest fan of the coconut smell that they have in this like it does smell like coconut but it smells like something else that i can't really put my finger on um this is just one of those conditioners it's good to have because it's cheap and sometimes you just need a good deep conditioning but you don't really have anything that you're trying to cater to like your hair is not super dry or it's not way too you know over moisturized this is just a good basic conditioner to have um i do really like this and i do plan on repurchasing this because of obviously the price um i believe this was 6.99 i used to i used to have the label on here um but i guess i took it off i believe this was 6.99 at marshall's and i see this stuff in there all the time it's not like it was just kind of there and then it disappeared. They never had it again. They always have Ren Pure and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So if you have not tried their products, go check them out. Another Ren Pure product. This is the Coconut Whipped Cream Leave-In Conditioner. This is a staple leave-in conditioner for me, guys. This is that leave-in that is not extremely thick, but not extremely runny. I like this because you can tell it has some tack to it um this has insane slip it works with so many different things in my collection and i see a difference in my hair when i use it um this works really well with obviously the other rin pure products in the collection but it also works well with other things as well so um you get tons of product in here this is a 16 fluid ounce container I have had this bottle for a year um, because it has so much slip you don't need a ton of it so this this right here is Bay. my brother has also tried it he loves it um, anyone that I've put onto this has said that they really really do enjoy it so like I said if you have not tried Rin Pure go try them and also they're they're like a family-owned brand so um not black owned but you're still supporting a good business when you buy from them this is the Garnier whole blends honey treasures repairing mask you get 10.1 fluid ounces in here that's what this baby looks like um their entire line the honey treasures line smells wonderful the only thing the only complaint I have about this is that it's hard to get every little last thing scooped out, scooped out of there because of the shape of this y'all I know that sometimes we side eye really cheap hair masks because we're like you're way too cheap to be good guys this is cheap and it's amazing this is so good for a drugstore conditioner it adds a little bit of strength to my hair totally moisturizes my hair my hair is defined when I rinse this out um, especially when you use this under heat this works well without heat but I mean it really does shine when you use this with heat so I highly highly suggest this hair mask it's amazing if you don't get anything from the honey treasures line get this hair mask it's awesome I have the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask with African Rock Fig and Baobab Oil um, that's what this looks like. I'm sure y'all have seen this all up and through YouTube. It's a staple mask for a lot of people. This was the first 
pricier hair mask that I tried when I went natural. Love the smell of it. This is a really good deep conditioner. This is the kind of deep conditioner that when you rinsed it out, your hair just looked really luscious, like kind of velvety almost. Um, this was definitely a staple deep conditioner. I have purchased like seven of these within the last couple of years that they started selling this mask, so I really do enjoy this. If you're still using Shea Moisture, go pick it up. I feel like you can't really go wrong with it. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that they didn't like this. Oh, wow. Um, I only have one As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. I'm not going to go on and on about this because y'all know that I love it. I had like three of these in my last empties. The only reason I don't have more of this is because I was trying to use up my other cleansers. And I did have an issue with some buildup. So I kind of laid off the co-washing for a little bit. And I've just been doing either sulfate-free shampoos or clarifying shampoos. So um, I do plan on repurchasing this. I just needed a little bit of a break from it. So... Um, I always suggest this to anyone that is trying to get into co-washing. This does cleanse your hair, so of course, go buy it. <laughs> I have the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I think this used to be like a big thing on YouTube like some years ago. I'm sure y'all have seen this. I got this one from Marshalls. It smells so good. Um, I got this one from Marshalls because they did change the packaging. On the macadamia oil line, this was $26.99. So, I mean, compared to the almost $60 that you pay for 16.9 fluid ounces, that was definitely a steal. I love this hair mask. It's wonderful. And honestly, like, it's so good that I would pay full price for it. I love this on my curly hair, and I also use this when I'm going to straighten my hair. Obviously, I haven't straightened my hair in a while. But this is also really great if you need to do a deep conditioning but you're going to straighten and you don't want your hair to be weighed down by a bunch of oil. So, I really do love this. I will suggest it. Just, you know, be mindful. This is not cheap. Another favorite. This is the Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition Curl Nourish Buttercream. And this is for dry curly hair. This was the old packaging and the old formulation. Um, Like I told you guys in my favorites, the new formulation, I don't see any difference in it. Um, I think the biggest point of that was to eliminate the parabens and, um, you know, really just try to make a bit of a healthier formula. Love this stuff. Works with almost every single thing in my collection. When I don't know where to turn, I turn to this guy right here. So, go get it. It's like $4.99 at the drugstore. You can get it on the ground. It's super cheap. It works amazingly. Curls love this stuff. Um, every person that I've talked to that has used this has had nothing but wonderful things to say about it. So go try it out. Next I have the Garnier Whole Blends Repair and Conditioner from the Honey Treasures line. This is made with royal jelly, honey, and propolis extracts. And this is also supposed to strengthen and heal damage. Um, so I have the smaller guy. This is the 12.5 fluid ounce. Before this, I went through... I think it was like the same size as the shampoo. Um, so this, I've purchased this at least four times since I started using it. I really, really do enjoy it. It has a bit of a different consistency. Like it's thick, but it's, it's hard to explain. It's thick and creamy, but it's just different. It's not the same as like um, the Legendary Olive. That one is like a straight cream. This is different. Um, it's almost kind of like a creamy jelly. I love it. Coats my curls beautifully. Um, I can detangle with it. My hair loves it. Um, and this is wonderful to use before applying the hair mask. So, if you have been looking at this and you weren't sure if you wanted to get it, get it. I have the Shea Moisture, Raw Shea, and Kupawasu Frizz Defense Hair Mask with Passiflora and Pistachio Oils. And this is to strengthen and smooth thick wavy hair. Obviously... Um, my hair is more curly than it is wavy, but I love this. First of all, the smell. Best smelling thing that Shea Moisture has ever come out with. Um, this really does help with the frizz. When I rinse this out of my hair, it's like the majority of the frizz that was in my hair is gone. Um, this is extremely nourishing to my hair. I don't find that this really adds any strength, but that's not what I use this for. I use this when my hair is really dry. Um, and definitely need some help, like I said, in the frizz department. 
Um, I really did love this hair mask and this is the one thing that kind of made me like maybe I'll get Shea Moisture on and buy one get one free <laughs> you know <laughs> but um no I'm gonna stick to my guns but yeah I really did fall in love with this hair mask so if you see this um I do recommend trying it really everything that I've gone through um of my Shea Moisture snap stash is stuff that I would recommend to people so I have my TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner with green tea and argan oil. Um, I've already repurchased this, already got a backup of it. I love this stuff. I told y'all how much I love TGIN as a whole, but they just have great ingredients. My hair responds extremely well to it. These are kind of like my treatment products when I really need a pick-me-up. When it comes to styling, these are the products that I go to and they work every single time. My hair loves them, and I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. So, if you have been considering trying out TGIN, I know TGIN is pricey, definitely pick them up. Just um, try picking them up at Sally's when they have sales and stuff. And quite often, like, they will do flash sales on their website as well. So, when you get the chance, find a sale, pick these up. I don't think you will be disappointed. I have some oils here. Y'all know how much I love oils for my hair. I have the OGX Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Weightless Healing Oil Mist. I really love this. I love this just as much as I love the coconut ones. So I will be repurchasing this. Um, I'm about halfway through my coconut one right now. Um, I have the Silk Elements Pure Oils Avocado Oil. This is pure avocado oil, um, but when I bought this, apparently I didn't love myself because when you consider how much you get in this bottle, it's ridiculous compared to how much you can get from like the Now brand. So um, this is one fluid ounce and I believe this was like $7.99. Um, yeah, don't get the pure oil from Silk Elements because you're really not saving money compared to how much you get. So, yeah, I absolutely love avocado oil. Um, I'm one of those people that coconut oil's nice. It works. When I use it, it does what it needs to do. But avocado oil, this is where it's at. This is the shit. My hair loves it. So, um, if you're one of those people that you're just like, coconut oil is whatever, or you are sensitive to coconut oil, try avocado oil. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. And then I have the Shea Moisture, Manuka Honey, and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Complex. Um, and of course this is with African Rock Fig and Baobab Oil. I like this when I had it. I would use this in the lock method so I would apply my leave-in, apply this, and then apply whatever styler I was going to use on top. Um, this smells amazing. It smells just like the hair mask. Um, the only thing is that this has denatured alcohol in it. And even like my cheaper like spray oils don't have that. Um, so I kind of realized that this wasn't as healthy as I thought it was. And for that reason, even if I were using Shea Moisture, I would not repurchase this. Okay, so this is my last hair item, but this is not a natural hair item. This is the Redken extreme anti-snap leave-in treatment for distressed hair this bottle is super is super old i've had this for years i'm pretty sure they changed the packaging on this um i was not able to get through this i got about to this point on the bottle and i had to dump it out because it was clumping up and getting gross so i'm pretty sure that it had expired i use this when i'm going to straighten my hair so i add this to my hair my damp hair and then i blow dry with this and then I'll add like my heat protectant or whatever. So I really do enjoy this. Um, I would purchase it again. I just don't know when I will see myself straightening my hair again. So until then, I won't be having this in my stash. Okay, let's move on to skin. Well, actually, I do have another hair thing. Um, it's just not a product. Okay, I have these um color track crocodile clips. These are what I prefer to use in my hair, but he snapped. So, um, what I like about these compared to the other crocodile clips that you typically typically see on the market is that, I don't know if you can tell, but these are rubberized. So, like, you know, like NARS packaging? 
that's how these feel. I like that because I'm the type of person, I'll go to like put the clip in my hair and it'll be slippery and the thing will like fly across the room. I'm pretty sure that has happened in one of my tutorials. <laughs> um, but that doesn't happen with these because they're rubberized so you get a good grip on them. Y'all, I'm sorry for my dog, but bright side is that y'all won't have to hear any of that when I move. It'll be nice and quiet. <laughs> so yeah, um, these broke, so I figured I would include them in my empties, but these lasted me a really long time. They lasted me almost a year without any breakage, so. And I also love these because the, like the duckbill clips, the metal ones, they get caught in your hair and they snap your hair off. I hate that. These don't do that. These are much safer on your hair and these will save you from a lot of mechanical damage so pick these up these are a little bit pricey for hair clips but I don't regret that purchase at all and I will be spending the money on them again 